There is a generation alive today that has never known a day where every human was on Earth. For them, space has never been a new frontier. For them, the question is not, can we live and work in space? The question is, what comes next? For nearly three decades, the International Space Station has been the home off-planet for those in service of humanity. An orbiting laboratory sparking new discoveries, life-changing innovations, and historic breakthroughs. But what comes next? What comes next matters, because what is needed is not just to continue our presence in space, but to enable a new generation to unlock the potentials of microgravity. To invite industry to pose the questions that will give rise to the next age of humanity. How can we transcend the limitations of our planet so that our world becomes a better place to live? The answer is to establish a platform for nations and researchers to conduct more pioneering investigations than ever before. The answer is to be an orbital forge to unprecedented industrial developments that can scale exponentially. The answer is to maintain a continuous heartbeat just outside Earth's atmosphere from which humanity can venture ever further out. How do we know? Because we're the ones already building what comes next. With flight hardware in Turin, Italy, flight systems in Houston, Texas, and operational confidence in low Earth orbit, the next era of human spaceflight has already begun. Axiom Station is the world's next space station, sequenced to meet the needs of our nation and our customers around the globe. We're the only ones permitted to birth a commercial module to the International Space Station. This payload segment will attach to the International Space Station, offering not only cargo capacity, but a right-sized hatch to allow for the transfer of entire research racks. This is a critical solution for saving decades of flight hardware, science and tech, ensuring the efforts of international partners continue to provide groundbreaking research. And following closely behind the payload module will be our first crew quarters. On orbit, the two modules will meet. And what follows builds out Axiom Station. An airlock for spacewalks and external science, a second habitation module to support four more crew, and then a segment wholly designed around the space strategies of industry, including Earth-facing windows unlike anything ever attempted in the vacuum of space. And yet, building out a station is an undertaking rivaled only by the task of operating it. Success up there requires a steady hand of unseen heroes down here. And ours wear the hard-earned badges of spaceflight. Our people are revolutionizing new methods for success at every turn. From design to development to process, this is who we are. This unwavering confidence comes from those who've carried the torch time and time again, whose accolades and hands-on leadership are respected universally. Microgravity will empower scientists to achieve results in a month that will take years on Earth. This is where levels of precision that have eluded terrestrial engineers will suddenly become the norm. Where a network of orbital data centers will process information on Mars running on infinite power with infinite cooling untethered by the constraints of Earth. Ours is a platform upon which the needs of our tenants can be met at limitless scale. And as these efforts directly benefit the planet and humanity at large, over the next decade, Axiom Station will also serve as a catalyst for deep space exploration. There is a generation at work today preparing for humanity to transcend Earth. These are the ones who may very well live and work in space themselves. And while some may ask, can we further human exploration of space? Can we cultivate a true economy in low Earth orbit? Can we maintain the leadership that's been established over decades? You bet we can, because we are. Axiom Space. We are what comes next. <laughs>